What's up guys, welcome back to 114 Rides. We're gonna throw a new grill on the S4 today, which has got it jacked up. We're gonna start popping the inner uh, wheel wells out. That way we got access to get this old grill out. And yeah, start shaping the car up. It's looking good, running good. First thing we did was take this upper plastic piece off. It's a number of Torx bits. Okay, that'll expose your radiator back side of the grill. And then inside the wheel wells, there's a series of uh, Torx bolts. And then you have some uh, specialty clips. You can use a flat blade screwdriver to pop those off. And then that'll get this nice and free so we got access to the back. All right, so we peeled back the inner fender well. <coughs> Uh, 10 millimeter nut right in the corner got that off now we're starting to take off the bottom uh, protective plastic piece uh, just in the front the bumper off it's a little bit easier to show you guys but there's the two, there's two 10 millimeters you have one up here and one up here. When the bumper's on, it's impossible to show you. And then in addition, you have another 10 millimeter that is gonna thread in up here through this hole and that connects the bumper to the metal fender um, to cinch everything up. And then aside from <coughs> pulling off your fog light connects, and the sensor that's mounted in the middle of the grill. The whole bumper comes off in one piece. It's fairly light. And what we're doing in addition is we're going to drop this uh, this bottom fairing out uh, just to do some cleaning. And then the next step is uh, we're going to go ahead and spray paint this uh, silver bumper um, so, so you can't see it through the grill. Uh, this new grill we're putting on has uh, larger holes. And uh, it's not going to look so good unless we touch it up with some black. Alright, we've got everything masked off. This aluminum bumper portion we wiped down with rubbing alcohol. And now we're just hitting it with some black undercoating. And then we're going to work on the grill and prep that out while this dries. A little customization involved on the new grill. We're knocking out these diamonds right here, and then we're going to do them and sand them real nice, uh, being careful not to mar up the, the gloss finish on the front of the grill. In addition, we have the stock bumper, and what we're doing is we're dismantling the grill, and it's fairly straightforward. You have a number of Torx uh, fasteners on both sides. I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to polish up the bumper and we'll install our new grill. Okay, the new grill's dremeled out. We had five areas to hit. All well, look pretty good. And the old bumper is compounded, polished, and we'll do a final wax on it uh, before it goes on the car. All right, so our rubberized coating, um, second coat is drying up. So we're just tightening some things up and addressing some details. So if you have the option, your home link box will be mounted across the radiator here, and it'll drop down. It's supposed to mount to the back of your grill. The new grill doesn't have that option. So what we did was we unclipped it, we mounted one clip here, ran it under, it's clipped again on the back of sheet metal right here, and then we're actually able to remount the home link box. So this guy right here, both both mounting points lined up, ran the cable, I'm sorry, the connector down to the bottom, clipped it in. It's in the same orientation it was, it's just relocated, and now you won't be able to see it through the grill. Bumpers hung. Look good, nice and clean. Like I said we painted that bumper black with some rubberized uh, undercoating material just so it wouldn't get uh, chipped with rocks. 
And uh, like I said, uh, you know, with reassembly, you have three 10 millimeters. You have one, two, three 10 millimeters. Torques and clips all the way back around for your inner fender lining. And then you gotta button up your plastic uh, protection plate uh, underneath the car. And that should be it. Like I said, looking good. RS4 grill installation. So, grill's installed, everything's put back together. All the body lines lined up really nice. Pretty easy to do. A couple little adjustments here and there. But that's the final product. More clean, straight black. Everything's looking good. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.